welcome back to my channel today I am going to share with you guys my Trader Joe's grocery haul I actually went back to Trader Joe's after a few months and I found a few cool new things over there obviously I also replenished my staples which I'll show you guys so I'll share this haul with you guys in three categories the first one will obviously be the cool new things the seasonal things and then I will move on to my staples that I always 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 pick up from Trader Joe's and then I will share with you guys the very boring basic grocery that I ended up getting from Trader Joe's all right so let's start with the cool new finds so the very first thing that I have to share with you guys is this lavage bread I haven't seen this bread before. I was actually looking for the naan breads and I couldn't find it. I found this one instead and this is really great. This was $1.99 and since I picked this up, I also picked up the, the organic tahin. This is $3.69. Tahin has been around in Trader Joe's for a while, but basically with the tahin and the lavash bread, you can grill some chicken, some onions, some bell pepper and just throw them all together with this tahini and roll up the lavash bread and you will have an amazing wrap. You can make those falafel. Trader Joe's has those falafel mixes as well which I should have picked up now that I'm thinking about it. I forgot about it totally. But yeah, you can make so many things. The possibilities are endless. Keeping it in the same category, something that I saw for the first time and I believe it is their brand new spice in Trader Joe's is this za'atar seasoning how amazing if you guys see it definitely pick it up because this is definitely their new seasoning for this year and it will sell like hotcake you can make so many things with this you can put it in your veggies your poultry you can even put some olive oil sprinkle this and then basically toast some bread and then you know dip your bread into the oil just like those fancy restaurants the possibilities are endless again but i was so excited to see this in Trader Joe's and it was only $1.99. The next thing that I picked up is this spicy cashew butter salad dressing and this was $3.99. This is one of those perishable salad dressing that you have to finish up very soon once you get it but honestly I think I'm gonna finish this up super fast. This uh, dressing basically has cashew butter, lime juice, ginger, cilantro, red chili pepper. I think this is going to be so 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 creamy because of the cashew nut and then because of the spices. Ugh can't wait can't wait to try this then i picked up this coconut creamer the price is 169 for this i heard a lot of good things about this coconut creamer this has only five calories per serving makes your coffee or your drink very very creamy but doesn't really take away the taste or doesn't make it like very sweet so i basically got it because i'm trying to cut my sugar so this will be a very nice segue for me to kind of like get used to the coffee flavor without the sugary flavor but anyway heard a lot of good stuff about it so i had to pick it up and then i have this broccoli and kale pizza crust remember when i believe two three years ago the cauliflower pizza crust came out in trader joe's and everybody was going crazy for that so now i saw this and i had to pick this up i honestly personally i did not like the cauliflower crust so i don't know if i will like this one since I saw this, picked it up, I'm gonna give it a try. This was $3.99, so it's not one of those super affordable items from Trader Joe's because honestly, even the lavage bread that I have, I could use this and make pizza out of it, but obviously it's not as healthy <laughs> as this one. And then I actually saw this for the first time. It's the organic coconut water for $1.99, just like you see something similar like this in like a taller bottle in whole foods i forgot what is it harmless harmless harvest coconut water from whole foods this reminded me exactly of that this is 199 but trader joe's has their own now so i'm gonna try this out this is the organic coconut smoothie this i actually bought before this is not super brand new but i think it's fairly new it's 199 as well this is actually really really delicious um if you guys haven't tried this smoothie definitely pick this up and when i was browsing through that aisle with the coconut water i eyed this beauty this is the vanilla almond spiced chai and you guys know I am a chai lover, so I picked it up to give this a try. This was $2.99, and I'm not gonna lie, the whole reason I got this is so that I can try it out, and I can figure out how to make this on my own, so I don't have to spend $2.99 every time in a bottled chai drink. So those were basically all the cool new things that I found new to me. It may not be new to you, but the za'atar is definitely new. All right, now let's move on to my favorite category, which is basically me sharing my staples with you guys. So the very first staple that I want to share with you guys is this sun-dried 
tomato in olive oil for $3.79. This usually always sells out. I can never find them in their shelf. So I found it this time, so I grabbed one. I have tried sun-dried tomatoes from many other stores. You will get many different types in your local groceries, but I really, really like this Trader Joe's kind. And once you open it, you have to put it in your fridge, but this will last for a while as well. Actually, yes, this will last me until November 20th, 2022. That's a long time. And it's a tiny bottle, so honestly, I'm gonna finish it before that. But yes, if you see this, definitely get this one. Then I have my hot and sweet jalapenos right over here. This retails for $2.49 and I love to throw it in my salad, my sandwiches, so many things. And again, I have tried other hot and sweet jalapenos from other stores and I really don't like those. I really like this Trader Joe's one. Highly recommend this. And then I have my fig butter right over here. This retails for $2.49 as well. Some mornings, you know, when you just want to eat a toast with some jelly, peanut butter jelly, I really like this uh, fig butter in those type of days. Also, if you are making a cheese board or a charcuterie board, if you put it in those like small remicans or just in general on your cheese board, if you put this, it's a very nice a sweet item to include in that. Every time I used it, I got compliments and everybody asked me, what is it? And then I would tell them, it's a Trader Joe's fig butter, guys. <laughs> Nothing fancy. So this is something that I like to keep in my pantry throughout the year and not just for winter season. And then I picked up this capers. It's $2.49. This is also a very good addition to keep in your pantry because it is so good with cold pasta salad and obviously with breakfast with like lox and cream cheese. Caper goes so well. So I picked this one up. And then I got this green dragon hot sauce. This retails for $3.29. And I don't know how you guys like to eat this. I have been a diehard fan of this ever since my college life. And that's because I would just have hard boiled eggs. I used to eat this as a dipping sauce and it really is a big game changer. That's what I still do sometimes in those days when I overslept and I really need some kind of breakfast super quick. I use this as a dipping sauce even with my samosas. But this has the power to basically make a very simple food taste super delicious, super amazing. And then I picked up the Thai red curry sauce. It's $2.99 and I picked this up because when I don't feel like cooking, I will literally marinate my chicken with this and I will just saute the chicken. I'll throw in some veggies and then I'll make some rice and I'll have the most delicious Thai food that I made by myself from scratch, which is not true. I definitely cheated by using this but nobody needs to know. That can be our little secret. <laughs> so this time I actually picked up the very popular Trader Joe's three cheese blend. But this time I actually picked up the light version. I never try the light version. I usually always get the orange package one. This is $3.99, but I'm going to try this light version. Like I said, I am trying to cut down sugar and I'm trying to eat a little bit healthy. I will let you guys know if this is just as good as the regular one that I've always picked up. And then, not staple for me, but staple for my husband, are these French macaroons. These are the chocolate and the vanilla kind, and he got this cold brew latte bars. This one retails for $1.99, and this macaroon is $4.99. I honestly didn't even know when he snuck this in our grocery bag because I didn't even know how this made to our home. <laughs> but yeah, these are his staples, so I'm not really surprised. He somehow managed to trick me and put it in the grocery bag. These are actually really delicious. This macaroon is actually very, very delicious. But like I said, I'm really trying to be healthy and I'm really trying not to get all this dessert. There were actually so many cute Valentine's Day cookies and then candies and so many cutesy things and they are seasonal and I really wanted to get those but I didn't. It took a lot of willpower. So then when I came home and I saw that, I was like, you gotta be a team player, you know? <laughs> Now onto those boring staples, but still staples, are this reduced coconut milk. It is $1.29. I love to keep them in my pantry and they have a long shelf life, so I always keep this in my pantry. You can make so many recipes, so many things with this. So I always stock up on these. And then the red kidney beans. 
right over here i always 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 get this trader joe's red kidney beans i like the goya brand one as well but honestly i don't know the goya one when i rinse them under the water i feel like the kidney beans are falling apart they're too mushy but this one is perfect it holds the shape the color i just love the quality of this so i usually always get this and these are only 99 cents sometimes with the goya ones depending from grocery to grocery it will be over a dollar dollar 49 so yeah greater joe's always the same price 99 cents each for each can so i grabbed these two also i grabbed these northern beans same 99 cents each so i grabbed two of those then i grabbed the garbanzo beans these were 79 cents each so i got this one as well garbanzo beans and red kidney beans i always 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 like to keep in my pantry you can make so many things with them you can make salads you can put this in your curries so many things but anyway i also picked up cayenne pepper from twitter joe's just because i needed it and this was 1.99 cayenne pepper is a little bit more spicier than the paprika one and red chili pepper is even more spicier than cayenne so it's kind of like a very nice in between in case you guys did not know now you know all right then i have my tuna no salt just in water this is 1.99 each and i picked up five of these so basically when you go to the tuna section there is so many colors and so many types and it's confusing so the one that i usually pick is the red one because this one does not have any added salt and it's in water they also have with salt in olive oil without salt in olive oil with salt in water so whichever works out for you i like to make tuna kebab so i like completely plain with no spices added not even oil you can also use this for sandwiches and salads so many things trader joe's bread i think all of their bread is my staple i love their sourdough bread i love the cinnamon raisin bread so i just pick up whichever i'm in the mood for this time i picked up multi-grain bread this one is 2.99 and of course how can i forget my teeny tiny avocados for 2.99 six of this teeny tiny avocados for 2 dollars I always think this is such a great deal. I can never go to Trader Joe's and not pick up this basically. I usually pick up quinoa from Trader Joe's, the three color blend one, but this time I picked up this um, organic fusilli pasta and it's made out of quinoa. Since I'm in my healthy journey, this may help me, right? And this was $2.99. If I like it, I'll definitely buy it again and I'll update you guys in my next Trader Joe's haul video. So stay tuned for that. And I picked up this peanut butter organic, no salt added, no preservatives, only one ingredient. And this was $3.49 and I actually got this because now I have a puppy, if you guys didn't know. And I wanted to make like homemade treats for him. I basically wanted to be very safe and I wanted to get a peanut butter that's just peanut butter. And in those type of circumstances, I think Trader Joe's, you can just like hands down, you can trust and just go with trader joe's because they really have very clean ingredients this one obviously has the ingredient labels and everything over here so i know it's just peanut butter and then that's it so i got this one for him since i mentioned his name how can i not show you guys this is chewy hi bucky hi. um thank you <laughs> so yeah um he i already gave him the peanut butter in a spoon and he devoured it he loved it so much right you liked it right <laughs> and i got this avocado oil spray this was 349 the avocado oil spray look at the packaging it just looks so beautiful and this is zero calorie guys look at that how cool so i picked up this and then i just have like very very boring stuff so basically now like the basic groceries that i picked up butternut squash 179 carrots of many color 199 these are all the colors mini creamy brown mushroom for 229 baby spinach for 199 green bell peppers these were 69 cents each so i got a few because sometimes in grocery stores they will be 99 cents sometimes it will be even more than one dollar so these were 69 cents so i got them sweet potatoes 89 cents each so i got two english peas for 349 green onion for 129 whoa that was everything that i got 
basically everything as you guys can see right over here <laughs> clearly i got quite a few items because i went after such a long time i hope you guys discovered some cool new stuff if you already did not know thank you so much for watching this video hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye guys